Hey guys, I'm going to be building myself a new MIDI quad. First I'll show you the parts that I'll be using, and then I'll show you a little bit of the process of me building it. And then of course I'll show you the completed drone. And then hopefully I'll get in some footage of it in the air. First let's start off with the frame. This is a real ACC Y200. It is a X-frame mini quad. Uh, it takes 5 inch props. The distance of arm to arm, to arm is, um, or motor to motor is 213 millimeters. The uh, arm thickness is a little over four millimeters. Even though it's pretty thick, it's not actually very uh, stiff. So you can see it kind of like bend. But anyways, it is fairly light. And uh, here, I'll show you the weight. So coming in at 74 grams, so it's pretty decent. It'll be my lightest quad I have. Uh, next, I'll show you the uh, flight board. This is the HGLRC F4V5 Pro. It's an all-in-one flight controller with a VTX, OSD, current sensor, and a PDB. It uses a F4 processor and a Betaflight OSD. Um, the VTX is adjustable anywhere from 0 to 600 milliwatts. The current sensor can handle up to 200 amps and has a built-in uh, BEC that can output 3 amps at 5 volts. It comes with an XT60 connector, a buzzer, tiny little buzzer, a antenna extension, some wiring, and some plastic standoffs. Let's see what weighs. So the board alone weighs 13.6 grams. Uh, throw in the antenna, 18 grams. XT60, 22 grams, little buzzer. An additional 0.7 grams, all the wiring. Twenty seven point four grams and the standoffs and twenty nine grams total. For the receiver, I'll be using a Fly Sky X6B that weighs four point eight grams. As for the motors, I'll be using the Racer Star BR twenty three oh six S twenty seven hundred KV. It weighs 33 and a half grams. For the ESCs, I'll be using the HGLRC PS28A. It's a 28 amp continuous uh, ESC that supports up to a 40 amp burst for 10 seconds. And it's, uh, it'll support D-Shot 600. It weighs 2.3 grams alone. We'll add all the wiring. 7.4 grams. For the FPV camera, I'll be using this HS1177 clone. Uh, I put a GoPro lens on there. It weighs 14 grams. The props I'll be using are the Racer Star 5048. Uh, they weigh in at 5.1 grams each. And as for the batteries, I'll be using these Zop Power 1800 milliamp 65C batteries. They weigh in at 182.9 grams. Uh, this seems to be like a new batch because I've had these batteries before, and um, these ones are actually much lighter at 147.1 grams. Don't know what happened there. 
for some extra protection against moisture, um, I've chose to go with this MG Chemicals silicone modified conformal coating. It uh, brushes onto electronics uh, like kind of like nail polish, and it uh, it helps seal the electronics from moisture and uh, water. So I'll give that stuff a try. I'll also be using these uh, soft mounts for the flight controller. I know all these parts I chose are all considered budget parts, but I feel that they all offer really good bang for your buck. Um, as for reliability, uh, I've used all these parts except for the frame and the flight controller, so only time will tell. I feel that um, if you have problems in your build, it's usually all mostly related to user error. So next I will now get on with the build itself. Well, here it is all done. I've already plugged it into Betaflight. It's, uh, came, it came with Betaflight 3.15, uh, and I made sure that the receiver works and responds in Betaflight. The, I made sure the motors all spin, and I had to plug it into Bia Heli Configurator to reverse, I believe it was motors 2 and 3. Um, the VTX works, the OSD works, um, the, the I, I'm pretty happy with this build. 
There are a few things I would uh, like to get fixed eventually. Uh, one of the main things is the receiver wires. Uh, they're a bit a little bit too long. I mean, too short, and I uh, didn't. I couldn't tuck them away as nicely as I'd wanted to. I'd probably go order some longer receiver wires. Uh, the other problem I don't really like is the uh, the camera. The the mounting of it. I don't have long enough screws to really screw it into the camera to really tighten it down. So right now it like it moves a bit. Uh, so I have to figure another way to fix that. Whether I'm going to wedge something underneath or I don't know. Um, I don't like the antenna angle. It's a little bit too upright for me. I feel like if I crash upside down, it's going to break or something. Uh, and it's super heavy. So maybe I, if I can, I'll go back to like a, a little uh, dipole antenna that'll be much more uh, crash resistant um, yeah well let's see how much it weighs Oops. so it weighs 299 grams let's add some props Three hundred and nineteen grams. Well, it's it's not as light as I'd like it to be, but I would have preferred to be around three hundred grams with the props. Um, but it is what it is, and maybe I could save some weight on that antenna. Maybe if I moved over to a uh, micro swift, uh, and then maybe I might be able to just hit the three hundred gram mark. I'm gonna leave you with some flight footage. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this. If you like videos like this, please subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what else I could do. Uh, okay, bye.